So I said a minute ago that our autonomic nervous system controls our glands and the muscles of our internal organs. And these are things that we perceive to be on autopilot, so things like digestion and our heartbeat. There are things that can be consciously overridden, but they usually operate on their own. And we said that the two portions of this autonomic nervous system were the sympathetic and parasympathetic divisions of the autonomic nervous system. One thing that I didn't mention earlier, though, is that these two systems work in opposition to one another. The sympathetic nervous system encourages the expenditure of energy, while the parasympathetic system encourages us to conserve energy. So the sympathetic nervous system arouses activity. It increases our heartbeat, it raises our blood pressure, and we say that it is responsible for fight or flight systems. The parasympathetic system, on the other hand, does the exact opposite. It causes us to come down. We say that it is responsible for rest and digest. And if you look at how these two systems interact, they really do work in opposition to one another. So the sympathetic nervous system dilates our pupils while the parasympathetic nervous system constricts them. The sympathetic nervous system increases our heartbeat while the parasympathetic slows it. And these two things make sense. So when your pupils are dilated, this allows more light into your eye and maybe you'd be able to see more things in your environment. Maybe you'd be able to spot a predator more easily. And if your heart is beating fast, that means more oxygen can get to your muscles in case that you need to make a quick exit. On the other hand, your heartbeat takes a lot of energy. And so when you don't necessarily need to run away from anything that's, that's scary or if there isn't a stressor in your environment, it makes sense to conserve the energy by slowing your heartbeat because not all of your muscles are in need of all of that oxygen. But be careful, don't just think about this in terms of the sympathetic nervous system activating things while the parasympathetic nervous system deactivates them. Because actually, the sympathetic nervous system inhibits digestion while the parasympathetic nervous system encourages it. And, and you can think about this, this makes a lot of sense. If you were to say, I don't know, be wrestling with a bear, you wouldn't want to be worried about being hungry or digesting your food. But when you're resting and don't need to escape from anything scary, then you want to be able to focus time and energy and your body's resources on these activities. So the sympathetic nervous system increases your heart rate, raises blood pressure, slows digestion, raises blood sugar, while the parasympathetic nervous system produces the opposite effects. It conserves energy, it decreases your heartbeat, it lowers your blood sugar, and so forth. And these two systems typically work together to keep your body at a steady internal state. And it makes sense that a system like this would have evolved this way. When you're actually in a situation where you might need to run away or escape predators, having something like this makes a lot of sense. But think about the stressors that you see within today's environment. There are many things that might stress you out today. Maybe you're afraid of giving a speech in public. And that stress can activate the sympathetic nervous system. And if you've ever been afraid of something like that, you know what it feels like, right? Your hands get sweaty, your heart races. All of these indicators of sympathetic activation, but because you're not trying to run away from anything, those signals don't necessarily make any sense. One thing that's important to note about these two systems is that only one of them can be working at a time. And you've probably experienced this yourself. Maybe you had to give a speech at one point and you really don't like public speaking. Well, you know what happens. Your, your heart races, your hands get sweaty. All of these symptoms of sympathetic activation. However, we also know what we can do to calm ourselves down. By taking deep breaths and trying to slow our heart rate, we are also trying to disengage from all of these sympathetic activities and to activate our parasympathetic system instead.